Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited to be getting into the reading today. We're going to take a brief look at what messages you need to hear going into May 2022. So of course, if you want to see future readings from me, you guys already know, thumbs up the video, subscribe so you never miss a beat. Any information you need to get a personal reading will be listed in the description box. And we're going to flip the camera as always and get into the cards and the juiciness of what the messages are, okay? So enjoy. Oh, follow me on Instagram as well, guys, at Mystical Crystal Tarot. Literally, my uh, YouTube name is my Instagram name. And I have a whole bunch of pick a cards that are going to be uploaded on there. I actually posted like a pick a card already and astrological updates, all that jazz. So definitely follow me and let's go ahead and get into the reading. Enjoy. Alrighty, this is going to be a reading for my Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Sagittarius, what's the harsh truth they need to hear moving into May? So we have the death card, the judgment card. We have the strength card. And we also have the page of discs. Okay, let me bring this a little bit closer. All right, so the harsh truth you need to hear. Things that have ended recently have ended for a reason. There's a reason why you're not talking to that person anymore, why you don't have an association with a particular person, situa situation, why a job ended. Okay, there's a reason behind it. And a lot of you already know what the reason is. And the truth is, the harsh truth is, you need to stay away from letting like emotional moments make you forget why certain things have ended or have left your life. Especially if you can look back and say, okay, this person has been narcissistic towards me or this person has put me through this, 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 and this. And in emotional moments, you can ignore those things or you can bypass those things. So the harsh truth is don't start bypassing things just because a change a drastic ending is hard for you to process. Take it day by day. But the worst thing that you can do is go on a personal healing journey, stop in the middle of that healing journey and go back to the thing you're healing from and inflict the same wound to yourself over and over and over again. It's kind of like a scab, right? Hate to be disgusting, but we got to go there. You don't pick out a scab and keep picking it, picking it every time it starts to heal because you're just delaying the healing journey. So the truth is a lot of you are delaying your own healing journey by going back and forth to situations that just keep inflicting the same pain. And a lot of you expect to be disappointed by said thing that we're talking about. But another truth that you may be needing to hear you're more you're in control more than you may be giving yourself credit. You could be thinking that there's so many things outside of yourself that are controlling how a particular situation is going and and how things are manifesting when really and truly the choices and decisions that you're making is more so like manifesting adverse uh uh energies or how do I say this? The choices you're making very much affect the state of your, your situation is basically what I'm saying. Hmm. Some of you guys really do need to work on your anger issues. I always say this. If somebody can take you out of your character by agitating you just enough to get you angry or if anybody can move you emotionally, then at that point they control you. So you want to be careful of just being this person that gets taken to a point to where you can't control your anger. Because at that point, the person who has angered you has, has now gained full control over you. Um, another harsh truth I'm seeing, somebody here is just potential and literally just that. Um, somebody can be a potential husband, wife all day, but there's aspects about this individual that will never be 
that. And like I said, this person has the potential, but I don't think that they see it for themselves. And until they can see that for themselves, it doesn't really matter if you can see the potential of what they can be. Even beyond just husband and wife, what they could be for you in that sense. Somebody here doesn't recognize their potential in terms of how creative they are, how artistic they are. And if you keep trying to drill it into their head, I mean, they're never going to realize it until they want to realize it. And this could even be you. A lot of you have potential to reach higher heights. It's a matter of just kind of playing it a little bit too small for yourself. Needing to explore more opportunities out there. What's another message for my Sagittarius that's coming through? Love and nurture your body. Your own body is a manifestation of God. And if you honor your body, everything will change for you. Practice giving love to every part of your body. This will plant seeds of love in your mind. And when they grow, you will love, honor, and respect your body immensely. So yes, this is making sure that you're treating your body with respect, that you're treating yourself with respect in order for other people to know how to treat you. I think that's like the oldest saying ever. They they said that when I was in school, okay? But it's true. The way that you treat yourself is how other people are going to treat you. Because if you treat yourself like you are on a pedestal, then people will know that they can't come at you any less than how you treat yourself. And in order for you to show up as your best version, you do need to make sure that you're taking care of yourself. Let's keep going. Sagittarius. All right, the card we have, healing heartbreak. My heart will love again. So this is realizing that, yes, you could be going through a heartbreak right now. Yes, you could be disappointed with how a particular situation turned out, but Understand that if you allow yourself to go through the healing process, if you allow yourself to understand that love, just like any other area in our lives, it consists of experiences, good and bad, and that you don't take it personally or you don't start to tell this story of, oh, I'm just so less fortunate in love. If you're realizing that you just need to learn from your experiences and like I said, love is just one of those areas in life where you will just go through a mixed bag of experiences, then you'll be able to heal a lot faster and also not take things so personal. Because some of you, the harsh truth is you could be taking things a lot more personal than you need to, okay? There's just natural things that happen in life. Death, breakups, losing jobs, gaining jobs, falling in love, having children. All of those things go into life's existence and none of us are exempt from those things. Let's keep going. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Harsh truths they need to hear. Okay, gratitude, death, and indecision. So funny that we just talked about that. Anyways. <laughs> um, so with gratitude, I say this a lot. Exist in or exist on the vibration of gratitude and you will attract more and more and more into your life because for one, you need to say thank you in real life. You, you're not going to just keep getting, getting, getting in life and never say thank you. If somebody was to give you $20 and you never said thank you, but you kept expecting them to give you more money and give you more money and give you more money. It doesn't work like that. At some point they're gonna be like, well, shit, are you happy? <laughs> Use my language. Are you happy with what you've already been receiving? And with this energy, it almost seems like you guys need to be more grateful for what you have instead of cussing the universe out for what you feel like you don't have yet. If you do that, then you'll always be in a position of feeling like you need more out of life because you you can't even recognize the beauty in what you have now. Yeah, you may not live in a mansion, but you live in a house. Yeah, you may not have the newest BMW, but you have a car. Shoot, if you don't have a car, you got Uber money. <laughs> like, understand where you should still be grateful and how that correlates with what's, what's brought into your life. But also with death, it says, I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. And this goes into what I was saying before. Life consists of a lot of changing and 
in growing up and maturing and evolving. And once you get with the program, you don't hold on to things so much. So the harsh truth is some of you guys have been holding on to things and thinking things are forever when nothing in life is guaranteed. The only thing that's guaranteed to us is this experience itself and us passing away and taxes, <laughs> of course. But um, beyond that, a lot of you also, the stagnant energy you could be experiencing, it has a lot to do with indecision and you not trusting yourself. So the truth is you guys need to be more in tune with your intuition because if you were, then you wouldn't exist in a space of indecision for so long, in turn, creating stagnant energy in whatever area in life you have this indecision. And um, Spirit is also saying, stop allowing people to think that you move on their time. When really and truly, that's not the situation at all. If you're dealing with somebody who doesn't know what they want, that's your cue to know that you don't want to be with that person. <laughs> okay, but these are just some of the things that I see. I hope that you did enjoy. If you did, definitely thumbs it up. Subscribe so that you never miss a beat. And I will see you in the next one.